by limit. Who can who can articulate? Who can articulate what is the use case? What is the purpose of a buy limit? Anybody know? You can chat it to me privately. Why would a client use this? What are they telling their rep? Do you want to buy stock? We'll just call it stock, right? At a specific price or what? Or lower? Is it entered above or below the market? It entered above or below? It has to be below the market. Right? Because if I said to you, what stock y'all want to look at today? What company's stock? Apple stock. Okay. If I said to you, everybody see Apple stock 118 today? It has to be below. If I enter a buy Apple at 120, what happens? What happens if I enter a buy Apple at 120? This is a limit order. Everybody see it's a limit order? Limit because look at this, I got my price. That's what I'm willing to pay. Okay. So I'm saying I'm willing to pay 120. Where can you get it right now? Where could you get it right now? It's available for 118. So what will happen? I said I'm willing to pay 120. The rep says, huh, we can get it for 118. It's going to execute immediately. It's not going to be a conversion to a market order. It's not like a stop order, but it is just going to immediately execute because I placed it where I said I'm willing to pay up to 120. It's available for a buck 18. Boom, do it. This is called a marketable limit order. So it's not that it's against the rules to place it above. It's just that if you do, you know you're going to get a pill. Imagine if you go into a car dealer. Car MSRP is $20,000. Okay, that's the price of the car. And you walk in and you say, I'll pay $25,000 or less, but no more. But not more. Right? That's what you do. You make a big deal about that. What's the car sales person going to say? Car costs 20 grand. You say, I won't pay any more than 25 grand. What's about to happen? Yeah. Sold. Done. That's a marketable limit order. Now, how does it really work? Well, in the real world, we'd say buy Apple 110. Right, we'd say buy Apple at 110. Now, can we buy Apple at 110 right now? Can't buy it at 110. So our order rests, it waits, which is why you place it below. We wait for it to drop. Car is 20K. You say, I'll pay 15K, but no more. Right? Dealer says, okay. He says, you know, let's wait and see if a car becomes available at that price. You can't sell you that car right now for 15K. It's not available at 15K. But I understand you're willing to pay it. I'll keep your number. And if it becomes available at that price, we'll give you a call. So that's why it has to be entered below. Because if you put it below, above, you're just gonna get immediate execution. Final point on this. What happens to my buy limit 110 if Apple 
declares a $1 dividend. What happens to my order? Buy limit is now 109 and Apple is now 117. We adjust it downwards. You can do this same exercise with the sell limit order. It's the same process that you'd want to be thinking about. Stop orders work a little bit differently, but I would want you at this later stage in your game to be prioritizing thinking about the limit order, the limit order.